Hi, single cancer, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on your love life in this new year of 2022. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike. I thank you so much for your support. So single cancer today, I'll be focusing again, like I said before, focusing all on your love life. I will be taking a look at your overall 2022 calendar year. I will divide it into four sections um, or four quarters. Uh, the first quarter I'm going to take a look at is January, February, March of 2022. I'm going to be focusing on what energies are coming in your direction in regards to your love life. So again, January, February, March of 2022, April, May, June of 2022, July, August, September of 2022, October, November, December of 2022. Now, please note that these messages may not resonate right away and may take time for you to see its connection or its evolution in your own timeline. Okay. Um, also, these are general readings, but they are all focusing on your love life. Okay. Down below in the description box, you will find timestamps. That's going to be easier for you to pick up where you left off. Uh, if you are unable to watch these messages in, in, in their entirety, you could also come back throughout the 2022 uh, new year and come back as the year unfolds and just review and take a look at which section or which uh, quarter you need to review uh, messages for. All right. So single cancer, let's take a look here for January, February, March of 2022 what energies are coming in for single cancer for january february march of 2022 okay so you have the king of swords all about clarity of the mind all about strategic decisions here with the king of swords now um don't worry about the fact that it says king this is all about embodying the energy of the king of swords okay so this is all about being uh, impartial, trying to be objective, thinking about the logical piece of things or trying to look at things from a logical perspective. This king of swords, it's all about pushing your emotions aside and being able to make certain decisions, strategic ones and figuring out where it is that you may want to go or being able to speak clearly and truthfully about things that are or may be on your mind during this time period okay the source energy is not only about the mind but it's also about communication so pretty much being able to talk about uh, things uh, honestly fairly and logically okay not allowing the emotions to interfere with whatever decisions need to be done or whatever clarity of communication needs to be made here for others of you this may be the king of swords this may be the person coming in for you during or uh, coming into your energy circle circle here during january february march of 2022 if this is representing someone else um this person may be uh, quiet may seem a little stoic but is very uh decisive very logical and it's able uh, this person is able to communicate themselves um uh, you know clearly okay some of them may be a little bit quiet okay they may come across as stoic or kind of a little bit detached or aloof but it's only because they're 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 a lot on their mind it's they're very much this um type of energy of intelligence of thinking about things before uh doing them or getting them done here okay um for others of you this person may be divorced okay with this king of swords energy or uh for others of you this person can also be um gemini libra or aquarius now it doesn't necessarily have to be but there could be air in their birth chart okay so they probably could have like a moon air or an ascendant air or maybe their sun sign is air or they just maybe have uh air placements in their chart okay um let's take a look at more information here 
in regards to your first quarter january february march of 2022 you have the ace of coins in reverse and you also have the three of swords in reverse and i feel here what you're doing or the energy that is around you here um pisces during this time is that you are letting go whatever heartache pain uh sense of loss sense of separation okay um that you may be feeling or thinking about here during this section some of you here um uh, may either terminate a divorce so this person um it may not be a person it may be you you may be the divorced person here um that i'm picking up here with this king of swords energy and what you're doing here is you're rising above whatever heartache pain separation sense of loss that you may be at times thinking about over and over again some of you here may be releasing here this sense of lack of scarcity or scarcity mindset um this feeling though or this thinking that um either you know you don't have enough or you know you may not be enough or this sense of like again like the scarcity mindset is what i'm feeling here with this ace of coins in reverse okay others of you may be releasing this energy here you're releasing this uh you know this uh this feeling of lack um, that some of you may have now this feeling of lack is not so much a feeling but it's more about a mindset or a way of thinking like I don't have enough or I'm not um, you know I'm good here but I don't have X Y and Z you know that's the type of energy that I'm picking up here let's take a look here at your next set of cards what other energies are coming in for you here uh single cancer in regards to your love life for january february march of 2022 <clears throat> for others of you what i'm getting here with this um king of swords and with this three of swords in reverse is that you're going to be embodying this energy of clear thinking okay of uh, being strategic of anchoring your ideas in a very clear set way and what you're letting go is the lack of planning that maybe you may have had in your past or recent past it's like you're not going to do things um either haphazardly or not without thinking okay like there's a there's a methodical logical way or a type of an analytical feeling that i'm feeling here in regards to your mindset here during this first quarter let's take a look here um you have a chemistry this is great and you also have here balance and again there's this balance there's this yin and there's 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 the yin and yang energy here with balance now um this is all about being proactive but at the same time being proactive in a mindful way okay and also in a way being um or allowing yourself to connect to your intuition as well and really trying to create this balance now what's interesting here is that this uh, this first quarter you do have two swords energy so there's a lot of mind or mental activity here truth also truth being revealed as well or being able to speak the truth or be very transparent with the truth and i feel here that there's this balance that also will be taking effect here it's like um, balancing what your mind is in a way showing you or helping you in a way create this kind of breakthrough of clarity and clarity of uh, communication but also at the same time intuitively feeling yourself connected perhaps to someone here in regards that you have chemistry and i feel here that there's this push and pull with this balance card it's like the mind versus the 
the heart or the mind versus your intuitive ability or your intuitive senses. All right, let's take a look here at your next deck. What other energies here are coming in for single cancer? All right, finances and career. Okay, remember we were talking about here earlier about feeling that there's a lack of something. Okay, now, even though this is a love reading, your finances and career are coming in uh, you know coming to light here during this uh during this quarter for some of you is financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so in some way shape or form whether it's your career okay whether it's the busyness of your career whether it's perhaps the stress uh, the burden of uh, the hustle and bustle for others of you is that you're really wanting or focusing on during this quarter about in a way st creating a sense of stability because you may feel here some of you here again although it's a love reading you may feel here that your finances especially here with the ace of coins in reverse that your finances may not be as sturdy or as um stable as you would like okay now i'm hearing here for some of you that um for others of you other people feel or may think that it's fine that your finances are fine or that your career is fine but for you internally um for you in your mind okay or your mindset is that something isn't quite as right or quite as aligned um, as you would like it to be in regards to your finances and career. And this at times may be something that can in a way cast a shadow or in a way um, what I'm feeling here, it's um, kind of like cast a shadow in your love life. Okay. It's like you may not feel as secure, but at the same time in your mind, you're trying to maintain that sense of clarity of where you may need to go in your career and that when you are or when you have the things that you want need and are in alignment in your career that in a way that you can also align your love life okay for others of you here chemistry a lot of chemistry coming in your direction um some of you wow very interesting here some of you you this just i downloaded something very quickly here um some of you may feel um some of you may have a um a chemistry here with someone either at work or you guys may have similar careers or you might meet someone through what it is that you may be doing for a living okay so whatever it is that you may do if especially if you're working with the public or um you know or in a in a type of career or field that you are meeting others or in connection with other people there may be someone here that you may connect with and there may be here a sense of chemistry for others of you it may be someone in your job but just in different um in different departments and that's what i'm getting here with this balance card it's like you're in the same building or in the same career or in the same job but either in different departments or in different buildings okay so you guys may be in the same career but just in different places is also what i'm getting here let's take a look here at um one more uh card or one more deck here and you have fertility yeah there's gonna be here growth and the sense of growth um once you feel that you have um in a way stabilized either your career or your finances some of you may even be thinking here about leaving your job um and doing something else or doing something in addition to whatever it is that you're doing in your career but whatever that it may be here there is a sense of growth for others of you here that's going to cause a sense of well-being so you're going to feel a sense of confidence and you're going to feel very good about whatever it is that's happening here um in regards to your career or your finances but it will reflect itself in your love life okay there may be here a growth of chemistry here with someone okay either you may be interested in someone or someone may be interested in you but there's the right 
it's like the right match or the right amount of compatibility here in order for this connection to grow okay all right single cancer let's take a look here at your second quarter april may june of 2022 what uh, energies are coming in your love life for april may and june of 2022 single cancer 2022 let's see what's coming in for you all right, second quarter. Wow, second quarter, you are really focusing on your victory and success. Now, here you have the five of cups. There may be the sense of regret or loss, but it may be overshadowed by the fact that there is victory here. Okay, so what do I mean by that? I mean, there may be the sense of loss and regret and feeling of grief, having to do with something in your past just emotions that may be resurfacing or may be triggered during this time because there may have been here of course before the uh, six of uh, wands here you have the five of wands which is all about internal and external conflict so there may have been here um internal or external conflicts here that are causing you in some way shape or form or being triggered here uh, with this five of cups to feel some type of disappointment here or to feel this sense of unexpected loss or some type of emotional challenges that you may have had right but the main focus or the main energy here the first card here was the six of uh, wands here so there is here a sense of victory of success of progress here of moving forward and if people even taking a look at you and giving you a sense of recognition or maybe patting you on the back or maybe perhaps saying wow you know it, it was amazing how you got over you know fill in the blank whatever your challenges and obstacles may have been all right so there may be here again potential for a uh, victory and success in regards to your love life okay or to those struggles that may have um, in a way impeded you before to move forward in your love life okay so this is like a green light here for you let's take a look here at what other information uh is coming in for you for this second quarter april may june of 2022 wow magician that is the reason why you are uh here in the second quarter really in this sense of victory success feeling like you're progressing like things are improving um because there may have been here a focus on loss before okay again you're getting the five of cups guess what you got the five of cups at the back of this deck also okay five of cups five of cups so there's this uh confirmation here of this energy that i was telling you guys there there may have been this internal and external type of conflict that may have created this sense of loss in you but it's completely different energy here because the minute that you are able to let go of that energy, okay, of to no longer focus it and uh, focus on it and really focus on manifesting here with the magician, it's like you have all the tools and resources available for you, single cancers, in order to manifest and to create some type of victory and success in regards to your um, into your love life. Now here with the magician, the magician has the resources. Um, the magician has the wands energy, which is the motivation, the ambition, the uh, even the reputation of, of, of being somewhat of a leader or a, a person who's able to uh, put things into action, okay, with the wands energy. Uh, the magician has the cups energy. That means that, they, that the magician has the ability and the tool to uh, to create that sense of emotion, right? And to really connect with whatever um, he or she is manifesting, okay? They also have here, the magician also has the swords energy, okay? Or the resource or the tools of the swords, which is all about the clarity of mind. If you can see there, those are all the um, suits that the magician has in front of her. Um, in this deck, uh, uh, it's is, a, is a, a female, but in other decks as a male so it doesn't really matter it's all about the energy last but not least 
you also have here uh, or i should say the magician also has here the pentacles so the magician has the ability to create that sense of stability so the magician has all four suits and all those four suits are the resources available to the magician in order to create the sense of victory and success in order to create this uh, sense of forward movement or progress here all right so there is the sense here of being able to progress and to move forward in your love life for some of you um, that may be divorced here okay or that may have um, whether it was a divorce or there was a, a breakup here that was a, a little bit um, painful here in your past in your recent past especially here during the uh, first quarter where you have the uh, ten of swords um, in reverse okay so there's this feeling of letting go of all these uh, mental burdens of whatever um, heartache pain loss or sense of grief that you may have had or may have endured okay or past experience so you're letting go of all that energy and you're really coming into the second quarter with a sense of i've got it together and i know where i'm going i'm not going to focus on the losses okay i'm not going to focus on the losses i'm going to focus on manifesting progress on manifesting victory on manifesting success and guess what there are going to be people here uh, uh you know either keeping an eye on you or your the fact that you're going to radiate the sense of confidence may bring someone into your field into your energy field um that um you may be interested in them or they may be interested in you is what i'm picking up here let's take a look here at your next deck soul connection exactly when i said that guess what you guys have soul connection there may be someone coming in for you there may be this um connection that you and another person may cross paths this person is going to feel solely connected to you you're going to be solely or feel solely connected to them what does that mean a sense of familiarity there's a sense of compat compatibility here that cannot be ignored with this soul connection um and so that may be here an additional reason right or an additional energy that is showing why there is this feeling of progress here with the six of uh wands and how the magician um uh, is manifesting this energy here during your second quarter all right so that is possible for some of you there is not only chemistry in your first quarter but now here in your second quarter there's a uh, a mutual and i want to say mutual because you see these two people they're really interconnected um not only just um in front of each other but they're also connecting the head okay the head there's a there's a connection here so there may be an equal way of looking at things an equal way of, of thinking um a compatibility here um and some some of you even intuitive communication with this person okay let's take a look here at whoop yep free yourself and exactly when i said that connection of the mind and and, and allowing uh this intuitive com communication to happen between you and this other person you have free yourself so here during this um second quarter you have the ability here um single cancer to take control of your mindset of your emotions of allowing yourself to be more intuitive and i say intuitive because here you see the um the unicorn and the unicorn has an overly long uh, horn here at the top of the head or within here the third eye chakra which is all about intuition it's all about the sense or heightened intuition and that may happen here during the second quarter and uh an additional or a heightened level of uh gaining insight of clairvoyant abilities of being intuitively connected with this person that may be coming here there is that potential there is that energy there okay for others of you here who um uh, you know if you don't if it's not about meeting someone here there's going to be for others of you this connection with your higher self okay this soul connection with you and your higher self that's really um opening up here and really um 
kind of like expanding here for you during the second quarter okay so it's you and your higher self or this connection between you and the divine okay and you're really freeing your intuitive abilities you're freeing the mind you're freeing your uh, uh your ability to see beyond the veil okay here you have wow beautiful new beginnings so there's definitely here uh, a spirit an energy of big you know moving forward uh having this victory having the success starting new for some of you it may be a new connection here soul connection for others of you is your new beginning in connecting with your higher self and manifesting okay the type of love or the type of connection that you want okay and in a way others of you here are freeing yourself from this five of uh, cups energy the sense of loss that you may have felt these inner or uh, outer conflicts you're not allowing that to really get in your way here in your third oh i'm sorry in your second quarter here april may june of 2022 it's like it's all about manifesting and it's all about victory and success here again you have to put in the work okay so this is not just going to come just by uh you know you know federal you know fe f express mail or something like that you know fedex is not being you know uh sent to you just like that you, you have to really work for it and that is what is key here with this magician it's about working for that it's manifesting it's being very proactive and using your resources okay single cancer let's take a look here at july august september of 2020 two what energies are coming in for single cancer here in regards to their love life for 2022 all right you have the page of uh page of swords okay very curious about something that may have to do about the past also some of you may be reevaluating, and here you have the nine of swords followed by the tower okay and the knight of cups now okay a lot of energy is happening here during your third quarter now some of you are going to be reevaluating or looking or being very curious at why it is that perhaps you are or you may be here during this time period overly anxious or worried about things having to do with what's going on in your mind okay some of you i feel here that there's a sense of sadness or a sense of preoccupation anxiety or worry these worries may come up at nighttime they may create or cause a sleep that's uh uh, disturbance okay um, I feel here that this may be either one or two things it may happen very quickly okay unexpected here with the tower this could also be for some of you a moment where especially here with the page of swords that you realize okay that this hurt and pain and worry here with the nine of swords um it's kind of like a welcomed aha moment or a breakthrough here um like an aha moment like a breakthrough of finding a solution to something now a lot of you may say here well the tower is you know the breakdown the disruption and all these negative things yeah the tower can be that but the tower could also be that moment where you realize that you may be overthinking here with the page of swords over something that is creating a lot of anxiety and you finally realize that there's an aha moment here that there's a positive shake up to your routine that there's some type of learning or experience here or a freedom from this um nine of swords energy and where this is taking you here um single cancer is into a greater love here for you in the nights you know you have the knight of cups here so there may be just a greater sense of love or an ability for you an ability not inability ability for your heart to open up and follow your emotions and go with the flow of how you're feeling uh connecting with your emotion connecting with your intuition connecting with your heart connecting with that significant other 
if there is someone here um, and during your uh, third quarter. For some of you, it may be the person you met in your first quarter. Some of you, it's the person that you met in your second quarter here. But there's this realization, and, and um, you know, I know this looks very kind of heavy here, but I feel it's more of a realization. It's like you're reevaluating what's causing you the stress, and then you're figuring out that you've learned the truth through some type of difficulty that you had to endure. That there was like a new, kind of like a new energy breaking in, all right? And that new energy breaking in, unexpected aha moment here, um, is leading you to the night of cups is leading you to your heart uh, pushing you into a new direction a different direction a direction where love and romance is possible and where you are leaving behind as you can look here the knight of cups is walking in this direction walking to my right hand side walking into the future leaving behind all this in the past okay um so really i know it looks heavy but it's it's good energy because you have the knight of cups here walking away from that okay with a sense of an open heart and with uh loving emotions is what i'm feeling here there's also here romance for some of you here as well so it's like you're letting go of that in the past you're moving forward here remember i said earlier for you that some of you here with um the first quarter of the uh having the uh king of swords and the ten of swords that it's like this um like divorce like the ending of this divorce or an ending of a of a separation here um is really coming to fruition and it's it's kind of like that realization like i've got to let that go so that you can continue focusing on your love life the new part of it the success of it okay the victory of it okay all right let, let's take a look here single cancer where else or what else is coming in for you in, in regards to energy here um in your third quarter yeah some of you may have been afraid here there is a sense of vulnerability here that is happening especially with this page of swords nine of uh swords uh and the tower moment here there was this kind of starting to see the light starting to see the truth remember i said that earlier this kind of uh this this learning to see the difficulty in the truth of something okay and um others of you here yeah you're gonna be talking to someone someone is gonna be talking to you i'm hearing sweet nothing so there may be uh whispers whispers of sweet nothings in the ear okay so maybe a lot of communication a lot of talking uh you know on the phone you know connecting with each other uh having that type of um verbal communication okay let's take a look here at your next deck what other energies is uh, or what other energies are here for single cancer heart to heart conversation what i just finished saying to some of you here right didn't i just finish saying here with this influence card um i know it says influence but i read intuitively it's like there's going to be a lot of talking here um uh, people listening you listening to the other person talk the other person listening to you talk all right why because there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart uh, conversations here happening or taking place during this third quarter heart-to-heart -heart con conversations here is all about honestly discussing feelings with each other for some of you that may trigger this sense of vulnerability the sense of fear that's why this card is there okay guess what guys others of you this is a new love the person that you'll be connecting with is new all right some of you there may have been a breakup so some of you with this first quarter and the second quarter you may have kind of departed from that and there is a new person here for others of you it's still this person that you connected with in these two quarters and this is just telling you that new love is all about this kind of like revamping okay or or falling more in love with this person or this person falling more in love with you there are a lot of romantic feelings here with this card so pay extra attention here during this third quarter for that type of energy or the potential of that energy to exist there for you and your significant other or the person that you're talking to getting to know during this quarter all right let's take a look at the last deck before i close the reading with your fourth quarter over there all right 
let's see here you have empowerment yep empowerment so you're going to be enlightened here by some sense of um awakening and i said that to you okay earlier that's the message that came in remember that aha moment that i kept saying over and over again here i know it sounds a little repetitious but again i'm going to show you the confirmation evaluating the sense of nine of swords energy anxiety stress and there's an aha moment here there's a moment of enlightenment where you figure out guess what i've got to move and keep moving well actually is this way i <laughs> keep moving forward okay in order to continue my uh victory and my success in regards to my love life okay and that's what i'm feeling here for you now let's take a look here in your last quarter october november december of 2022 what do we have here for single cancers for 2022 october november december what energies are coming in for single cancer let's take a look here we have the five of cups okay with the lovers card okay so there may have been here or there may be here during your fourth quarter here october november december a trigger maybe here there are differences of opinion here uh, maybe an argument, maybe not seeing things uh, eye to eye. Okay, there may be a little bit of um, uh, heartache, loss, pain. For others of you, maybe just arguments or not being able to see eye to eye with someone here. Okay, and that feeling or that energy here may trigger or may cause this feeling of the five of cups here, this sense of disappointment, this the sense of feeling this unexpected, either sense of loss or sense of disappointment. For others of you, it may be here a feeling of regret. Now, you have the lover's card here. Lovers, Gemini energy, Gemini ruled by Mercury. Mercury, all about communication, also about the mind as well, okay? So being, uh, you know, speaking intelligently or communicating in a, in a way that's very clear and uh, focused, okay? Here also with the lover's card, there may be uh, a feeling here. There may have been a either dis discussion or a an, an argument or a disagreement here with someone that you are connecting or um, connecting with here. Okay, for some of you. All right, so there 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 may be this uh, you know discussion or not seeing eye to eye with this person. For others of you, you got to be careful here. Just be uh, a little bit aware here that you 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 don't get too boggled down by your own emotions of either regret uh unexpected loss or disappointment here because you have these three cups flipped over so that's what this person is looking at but behind this person they have two cups that are right side up in other words there's a blessing here that you need to be very careful that you don't miss because you're so emotionally entangled with things that have to do with the past or perhaps an argument or recalling certain um events that are causing some type of heartache pain or loss here okay so be very mindful here, single cancer, that during your October, November, December time frame that you don't get boggled down by anything that's low vibrational because guess what? When you do that, you're not going to be able to see what's coming in for you here with this lover's card, okay? So for some of you, it's the growth of a relationship. For others of you, it's meeting someone new here. For others of you, it's just continuing to develop even a clearer mode of communication or even uh, creating a deeper sense of bond here because you are talking and hashing things out with a partner here. Let's take a look here at what other energies are coming in for you here for October, November, December of 2022. And you have, let's see here, the Nine of Swords in reverse. Wow, interesting guys. Let me show you why I'm saying this is interesting, okay? Now, let's backtrack here to the quarter before this fourth, okay? This is your July, August, September. Here, remember that you have 
these three cards remember that i was telling you here you have the nine of swords energy here this reevaluating, okay this anxiety and you're coming to an awareness here or an aha moment that you need to keep moving forward and follow your heart you have this night not only did you walk away from that okay during your third quarter but here during your uh, i'm sorry during your third quarter you're walking away from it during your fourth quarter you're releasing that energy again like for good you're not only walking away from it you're just leaving you're just like it's non-existent okay and the reason for that is because you've learned to cope you have somehow in some way shape or form have learned to cope during this uh quarter here how to cope with this disappointment how to cope with this emotional loss and this could be this new person or this could be this deepening relationship you are having growing creating or stabilizing here during your first fourth quarter here and that may be what's giving you the energy and the ability to let go and to learn to cope with that type of anxiety with the insomnia with the worry with the stress okay um it's like you're you're hoping for something better and that something better could be this connection for you here with this lover's card all right let's take a look here at this next deck what other uh energies are coming in for you during this fourth quarter october november december yeah there's a sense of hope here okay there's a sense of hope here in this uh fourth quarter and you're letting go of all these memories because you're healing okay here with this five of cups energy this uh what is this uh nine of swords in reverse and the memories card yeah you're letting all that go <laughs> it's that simple here in the fourth quarter bye-bye memories bye-bye loss and regret bye-bye anxiety and worry and hello to connection desire hope something you've been wishing hoping praying for hoping maybe even a stronger bond a stronger connection maybe even stronger communication ties here with this person all right let's look at another deck and we'll close the reading with this deck here let's see what other energies here are coming in for um single cancer october november december of 2022 here all right chemistry yep chemistry and attraction all right with the expression of love remember that communication that i was telling you about uh, lover's energy uh, connection here communication uh, gemini energy mercury planet ruling communication yep and expressing the love here there's definitely here a chemistry or a potential here to connect with someone um there's a magnetic attraction mutual here with between two people it says here there's a strong magnetic attraction present or at least definitely uh, available here energetically for you there is an attraction as well look double attraction chemistry and attraction some of you may meet this person as you're just um going out and just relaxing and just taking a break for yourself others of you may be traveling during this period okay i'm getting travel here you may connect with this person while you travel however it is that you may connect or continue to be connecting and deepening this bond if you are already with a person in this period this is talking about deeper chemistry deeper attraction and deeper sense of expressing your love that means talking more connecting more be more more vulnerable it says go ahead and make the romantic gesture so there may be a lot of romantic gestures i'm seeing gifts here during this time frame so there may be an exchanging of gifts or them giving you a gift you giving them a gift or maybe just your connection being the gift that you always wanted hoped and dreamt of in regards to your love life okay 
single cancer. I hope that these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and look down here, free readings for you, more information and more messages for you. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.